Hey, this is Random Random Man coming to you with yet another movie review. This time it's on the A-Team film based on the 80s TV show. And let me just say, I enjoyed the movie. It wasn't as good as the other movies I saw early this summer movie season. But still, it's actually a pretty good movie. Really action-packed. Not that much testosterone put into it, but hmm, pretty decent. Let me just start out with the cast. Um, the cast for this film is actually pretty well casted. Liam Neeson was good as Colonel John Hannibal Smith. Bradley Cooper as Templeton Faceman Peck. Um, Charto Copley as Howling Mad Murdoch. And finally, Quentin Rampage Jackson, the uh, UFC fighter. Uh, as the role that made Mr. T famous, Bad Attitude, Barracus. And um, the other cast members were also pretty good, too. Jessica Biel as Captain Sosa. And there were uh, um, other characters that were pretty good. I just didn't find them interesting too much. So, cast, pretty good. Now on to the plot. The film opens up in the Mexican desert with um, the A-team trying to find each other. And it's all introduced so you can find out like how the how everyone acts, basically. And it just opens up really nicely. I mean, uh, you, get to, you get pulled in right into the first um, action scenes in the movie. You see all of this stuff happening and you are just thinking wow well that's at least what i was thinking anyway the plot is basically about this alpha team or the a team led by hannibal smith and uh, they are trying to steal plates on an unofficial black ops mission or black operation the mission however was successful but then uh, the case that they brought back full of money explodes and then they were caught, sent to prison, and everything just turns for the worst by then. And they were discharged of their medals. From then on, that movie, um, I thought was, wow, how can they arrest them for doing a good thing? Yeah, sorry if I'm going to spoil anything. And anyway, yeah. The action scenes were good, too. I mean, this movie is also produced by uh, Stephen J. Cannell. And, surprisingly to my senses, and it's also produced by Ridley and Tony Scott. And if you've seen my Robin Hood review, um, Ridley Scott is also the director of Robin Hood and... How can they choose Ridley Scott for the A-Team? I mean, it's an exception that he loves doing action films, but wow, I'm just so surprised. Anyway, um, the lots of the nitpicky moments, like, like I said, were in the action scenes. I mean, some of them were pretty funny, but um, I don't know why it, they are unexplainable. But, like, one scene was... In a helicopter, when everyone's in a helicopter, they stop it in midair. A missile comes at them. They start falling, and uh, the propellers start coming up again, and they start flying again. Wow. I can't believe that was really tempting to nitpick about, but still. I'm trying not to act like a critic this whole time, but that was a pretty good scene. Really nitpicky, though. I mean... Chateau Copley's character was decent, but he was just too acting really comedic throughout the whole entire movie. There was one scene when he was grabbing the propeller and he was like singing, You spin me right round, baby, right round. Yeah. He was, I guess they were showing that he, they were having a very good time filming this movie. I mean, it looked like everyone was doing a pretty good job. And like, and like I said, action scenes were pretty good. The backstory could have been explained a lot better because I don't know why they were in the Mexican desert in the first place. I mean, they could have told why they were trying to 
rescue someone, one of their teammates. It just could have been explained better. The pros and cons, I already explained. So the basic pros and cons were the pros, the action, the cast, the cons, the backstory, and some villains. The villains were not explained too well. I mean, there was a lot of decoys of a villain named Lynch. And the, some of the villains weren't too interesting. Um, I'm starting to sound like a critic now. So, anyway, the, the A-Team is a pretty good film based on the 80s TV show. I wasn't really a fan of the TV show. I saw a couple of mo TV show clips. They look pretty cool, but I'm just not a fan of the TV show. But I'm a fan of the movie. Anyway, to wrap up this review, I'm going to give the A-Team an 8 out of 10 a solid 8 out of 10 and yeah thanks for watching this has been random random man i'll catch you later on the next movie review bye